And what did that do to me? That just made it come back 10 times harder. <laughs> I woke up this morning in my sublet feeling particularly slumped, like so unmotivated to move, I didn't even want to get up to turn off my alarm, which was across my bed. After some 20 minutes of laying there, I remembered one of Marcus Aurelius' meditations, where he says something like, on those mornings you struggle with getting up. Keep this thought in mind. I am awakening to the work of a human being. Then why am I annoyed that I'm going to do what I'm made for? <laughs> it's weird to think that a Roman emperor some couple thousands of years ago had a difficult time mustering the will to get up in the mornings too. We all face our own depressions and lethargic demons that keep us in our comfort zone, safe and warm. But like Aurelius said, we all have a job to do, to be a human, contributing to the greater good in our own ways as we do our daily activities and have our daily interactions. It all counts. So I got my ass up and went for a super slow run. And yes, I did feel absolutely amazing after. It was my first time running on the Manhattan Bridge. The view on that bridge is something else. I actually went to the doctors really quick to check up on something. It had to do with my breathing, so this past year kind of put me through stuff that required some medical attention. But after that, I ran home, showered, cleaned up the place, and then I actually had work, so I had a few clients, and one of them were so kind enough to bring me matcha, iced matcha. She also brought me an egg tart. Hold on. In here holds a delicious stun tat. It's from Sage bakery right now i am going to get dressed and head out to muji on fifth avenue alice who i met through celine is having like a pop-up bake shop in partnership with muji and just pop in and say hi and then also grab a few home things random things like a soap dispenser yeah we'll see i don't know always have such a blast at muji now i need to get dressed this is the fun part found my items that i'm gonna wear today i'm gonna wear the stussy vest as well as this Issey Miyake midi skirt and probably my open product boots because they're so light. I love them so much. All right, please ignore the stuff in the back. This is the outfit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing the skirt and then I have this uh, baggy vest over. It's like a Skims bralette. Here's the full outfit. changed back into my clothes from earlier. I'm sitting here at the desk trying to get some work done. I have a few deadlines that I fell behind with from the move. I ended up just getting towels from Muji because I was too lazy to carry everything that I wanted originally. I was just gonna get like a new sponge holder for the sink, organizers for random ingredients for the cabinets. Oh, house slippers, but they didn't have my size and I really want some that are open toe because as a closed toed ones um, and get a little stanky. I might just order it online. I also have to go grab packages from my old apartment. So we'll see if I can do that and go on my hot girl walk um, while the sun is setting and go get that. It's been a good day so far. This is my third day out. I just start my day off with gratitude and meditation now that I actually have the mental space and the heart space to fully immerse myself in the practices. It hits different with any negative thoughts that come into this swirling vortex of ideas and thoughts. I try to acknowledge it now instead of pushing it out. I would imagine a person pushing a boulder out of my ear. Does that make sense? Like, <laughs> Let's say this is my thought, like some negative self-doubting thought that 
that serves me nothing, no purpose. It's just there. And then I'll be like, no, I don't want to think about it. So I'll think of a person just pushing it out of my ear. And what did that do to me? That just made it come back 10 times harder. In the past week, what I've been doing is taking the time, making the time to sit with the thought, try to understand it as if it was a separate entity and not me. Because we are not our thoughts, thoughts choose us, and we decide if it gets to stay or not. Again, it's a practice. Just because I'm saying it out loud doesn't mean that I have it down to a T. It is just something that I've been implementing that's been actually showing promising results. It's like now I know how to navigate the process of negative thoughts and not having them linger around too long because then it just gets so stale and gray and mushy in here so yeah on to new beginnings and new ways to move about this life how's the lighting in here the natural lighting oh and this is where i put the chair did you hear that? This is where I put the chair, my meditation reading chair, right at the window so I can sit here in the morning or whatever and read a bit. All right, back to work. is setting right now and I think it's time to try Alice's pudding. Pudding. Pudding? Pudding. Japanese pudding. Focus. She told me to put it in the fridge right when I got home. Hopefully it's ready. Spoon. Pudding. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is delicious, Alice. Mmm. The key thing about desserts is that it's not too sweet because sometimes when desserts are way too sweet it doesn't keep you wanting to come back for more if that makes sense like it doesn't get sickening this is just the right amount of rich decadent fluffy creamy egg pudding with the layer of sauce kind of reminds me of a lighter fluffier flan i love it i wish i bought like four of them for the week wow i think i'm gonna finish this it's so good perfect little snack Ooh. The goods have been secured. So I just came home from my hot girl walk across the bridge. It is a weekend night here in New York City. So the streets are pretty live. You can hear like music down the street. But for us tonight, we're doing something pretty wild and that is unboxing our place kitchenware and tableware. First box. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to our place. We saved you a seat. At our place, we believe the strongest connections are made over a home-cooked meal. I agree. Turn up the heat. Your new ovenware is here. I've been waiting for this. What? This is so exciting. We have this dish here. Definitely making some banana bread in this. We have a silicone mat. Wow, this set is so worth it. For all of the pieces that you get. Nice. Is it modular? That is the question. Oh, I think it is. Why does that make my heart so happy? They said they had a mini surprise for me. Let's see what they meant by that. Oh my gosh, it's the mini version of the always pan compared to my face. This is the perfect size for me to cook one person meals or anything really. 